Marking one month since the Russian invasion on Ukraine began, three students tell each of their stories. And I saw the message of my mom. And she said, Ukraine is getting destroyed everywhere. To tell one giant story from their points of view, what is happening to Ukraine? One of the students on the panel is NDSU graduate student Igor Polunin. He's been in the U.S. since 2019 studying coding and polymeric materials. His home city is Lviv, and it's been under heavy fire since the beginning of the invasion. On that part you can see that um, where is my home located. Igor's parents and grandparents are still in Ukraine. He says he talks with them often. I was talking to my mom, it was 7 or 6 in the morning, and she filmed me how in a 2 kilometers there was like a, two missiles, like literally from house. The students put together their presentation using everything from maps Here you can see the losses of Russian army to images, to their own footage to tell their stories. Yegor says that although he likes to lead without expectations, he feels the panel did exactly what they wanted it to do, to make people aware. I think it was more important that the people who have been here, if we uh, did our job or like our target 100% efficiently. If yes, that's success. With photographer Abby McKay, Laura Hovland, Campus News.